So we're using a unit circle to evaluate trig functions. What do I have here? I have the tangent of 7 pi over 4. Let's go get that unit circle. Look at that. It's all laid out there for you. So what do we need? We need to find 7 pi over 4. Look. Oh, first, let's rewrite that tangent as the sine of 7 pi over 4 over the cosine of 7 pi over 4. Now, that head fake we had, let's go get that. Boom, it's right there, 7 over 4. So, what's the sine? The sine is the y value, so that's minus root 2 over 2, and the cosine is the x value, root 2 over 2. So now what? Some of you may have heard that rhyme, that hum, that hem. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And then they fight. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and that's how we get a minus one. But why don't we explore some more extravagant trig functions? Like in number 13, we're looking at the cosecant of 5 pi over 6. But you know the reciprocal identity. Yeah, the cosecant is 1 over the sine of 5 pi over 6. So now we need to go find 5 pi over 6. Oh, look, there it is. So. These ordered pairs, since this is a unit circle, it's of the form cosine sine. So, I saw the sine look like it's one half, so then I have to put that down there where I saw the sine. And then you heard that run the hun that him divided by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So, we reciprocate, give back to this problem, and deuces.